Hi, uh, I'm Yvonne Bonenfant, and I'm the artistic director of Ulu Zuzulelia. Are you all ready for another yes. Yes. yes! On a count of three, we're going to shout, yay! And we'll get ready. One, two, three! Yay! Let's go! This project um, takes some of the tools that are used in the historic and contemporary avant-garde, so to speak, and puts them at the service of dynamic and exciting vocal, interactive performance for children. Welcome! Welcome to my marvelous kingdom. Yes! Yeah. It's super groovy. Yeah. Let's all pretend to squeeze our own brains. Ready? Here we go! Yeah. That's what I love. Let me tell this part of our brain helps us with moving our bodies. When we want to do groovy moves, our brains control our movement and also the movement of our mouths. When we want to talk, I like talking a lot. And I have to boss people about every day. It's my job. The Welcome Trust have contributed um, the lion's share of the funding. But this uh, project has also uh, been supported by Arts Council England, the University of Winchester Knowledge Exchange Fund, and by The Point. We've come into this space. The creation space uh, has been very, very important to us because we needed to be able to set up this environment, this installed environment, and um, test our ideas. Uh, um, what we have done over the four weeks that we've been here, and those have been split up into two different time periods, is to uh, work with different children, schools, teachers, and advisors to shape our material and get it to a point where we can show it to people and propose to them that it might be interesting to program in their different kinds of spaces. The project is about really leading children into different kinds of vocal games that allow them to, uh, um, different kinds of vocal games that allow them to explore all the different things that their voices can do, uh, both in speaking and in not speaking. We don't use the word singing because that puts on performance pressure right away. So the kinds of things that we're doing, some of those activities are just led by the performers, our tongue wizards, we're calling them. Um, but some of those activities have a lot of technological interaction. Not everything is technologically interactive because if it was, it would be too, uh, it would be like gaming for the children. We can't really have a gaming environment where what they're focused on is a screen and a controller. Um, rather, uh, they move between what I call non-technological and technological or mediated activities. So um, they get to use beatbox loops. Uh, some of the sounds they make make things visually happen. So there's a period where they have to chase away wolves and they have to make loud noises. And as they make loud noises, fire burns. We have videos of fire that grow and shrink with the volume of the sound that they're making. Uh, we have um, uh, some video that responds to the frequency of their voices and then some of the interactive media actually sets a stage for what they're doing with their voices. So we have a whole animal sound sequence where they go from pre-dawn all the way through to, through to night and they explore different animal sounds as there's a kind of videographic sonography that changes behind them. So the technology is used in many different ways. Um, but what I would need to say, and I think a really important thing raised by the team um, in the devising process was that children are really used to technology now. They use iPads at home, they use iPhones. So the ways we use technology have to continue to feel magic, not like TV. The Welcome Trust and I are really interested in how children can learn about what the Welcome Trust calls the biomedical science of the voice. They're very interested in, you know, 
how children might be introduced to the anatomy and physiology of the voice. And of course, I'm also interested in that, but from an artistic perspective, that is conjugated for me inside my own body as an extended voice performer. Inside my own body, I'm constantly dealing with anatomical issues. All voice people are. We're dealing with how the diaphragm works, exactly how to align what's happening in our faces and throats. What the children are getting is an experience of that, that we don't, we don't tell them you're feeling your anatomy. What we do is we set up environments where they experiment with what their voices can do, and we really emphasize them understanding what they're feeling happen in their bodies while keeping it playful. Primary artistic goal, though, is to give kids a space to scream. And a space to scream where screaming is social where it's not seen as this bad thing that they do in, and have to be punished and silenced for, but where we use it and channel it into an artistic container. So they're making recordings of um, uh, themselves doing tornado sounds, they're beatboxing, and they go crazy with the beatboxing. They make all kinds of sounds uh, on loops, and we have them dance to their own sounds. I want them to have a space where their voices can shine and flow and be free without that stuff that not just kids but all of us live with all day in a crowded society um, which tells us to shut up and be quiet. Yeah.